Hey everyone, this is Adam, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to use text expander shortcuts in Figma using the CopyDoc plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go to your Figma file, click on the little resources icon up here, and if you search for CopyDoc, so that's C-O-P-Y-D-O-C, and under the plugins tab, if you just click the CopyDoc result, you can run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here, or I'd recommend clicking on this save icon here, and that'll let you run it from your save plugins list later. So I've already gone ahead and click the save icon, so I'm just going to go to my canvas, right click anywhere, go down to plugins, and then click on CopyDoc, and that's just going to run the plugin we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, it's got a bunch of different features that helps you to update and export and import all of your text content. But for today, we're just going to be focusing on this content library feature to create reusable text expander snippets. So I'll show you what that looks like now. If you go ahead and click on the copy doc uh, content library button in the plugin, that's going to bring up this little panel here. So just to show you what I mean by text expander, what it actually means is we can basically take these trigger shortcut names. So for example, button or CTA, and we can type those directly into a text layer and expand that shortcut into one of these text variants. So for example, if I do forward slash forward slash CTA, you can see that immediately after I finish typing in the trigger, it expands that trigger into the full text from our snippet. So if I do the same thing over here, I'll do slash slash heading, and that automatically uh, populates that heading with one of the text variants that I've added here. So I'll show you how to add those in your own uh, content library. So you can click on this add new snippet button over here and you can create a text trigger. So for example, we could do one called nav. So if we wanted to make some navigation items that we can reuse, we can call this one nav and we can basically categorize this into a section. So in this case, we might call this category menus and we want to add the nav trigger to this menu and the nav trigger is going to be your shortcut. So it'll be slash slash nav. And then under the text content uh, snippet, you can basically start adding some text content variants here. So you can just do one variant if you don't need multiple variants. But in this case, we might want to add a few different uh, menu items. So we might call this one uh, features. We might call this one uh, about us. We might do story, uh, social, social media, and maybe we'll add one more for FAQ. So we're going to create this as a text snippet, click on save new snippet, and you can see here it's added it right at the top. So what we can do is we can basically now use this snippet in our content just by using that shortcut. So if I do slash slash nav, that's automatically going to give me a menu item from my approved menu items uh, trigger. So again, I can do nav uh, as a trigger. I can copy paste that. So I can copy paste it to my clipboard, paste that in. Uh, I can actually keep pasting it if I want to keep doing that. So you can add uh, multiple triggers into one text area. So you could add that to uh, in between this text here and that will automatically expand it. So that's basically the fundamentals of using the text expander feature in CopyDoc. Uh, as I mentioned, you can go ahead and create as many of these triggers as you want. Uh, just to basically have a approved copy library that's going to be really handy for you to use to populate text content for uh, pieces of your design that need approved snippets. So instead of just using lorem ipsum, uh, instead of actually like manually typing out, if you were creating a new button, instead of thinking of a name or thinking of a you know lorem ipsum or something like that, if you've got the copy doc plugin open and you've got your shortcuts uh, on hand, you've either got it memorized or just using the copy uh, icon over here. Instead of typing out Lauren Ripson or whatever, if you just know that it's going to be a button and you've got CTAs, you can just type in CTA and automatically expand that text out into an approved uh, bit of copy. So that's basically what it looks like. Uh, as I mentioned, you can go ahead and create your own uh, content snippets. There's also a feature to import and export uh, CSVs. So if you wanted to do this in bulk, you can actually just import and export uh, these snippets in a bulk uh, export and import. So feel free to go ahead and try that out as well. But for today, I'm just going to leave it there and keep it really simple just to show you how to use the text expander feature in the content library section of CopyDoc. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.